These scientists may look like they're cleaning up a spill from a chemical plant, but they're in Brooklyn, a New York City neighborhood sampling muck from the Gowanus Canal, one of the most polluted bodies of water in North America. They're looking for extremophiles, microbes that live in extreme environments, like the Gowanus, which since the 1860s had been home to many industries, from tanneries to cement factories to gas plants. Many of those industries, particularly the manufactured gas plants, caused a lot of pollution in the canal. There's a thick layer of coal tar at the bottom of the canal, which has a lot of carcinogens in it, um, that the EPA is going to work to dredge out over the next 10 to 15 years. While its water is too opaque and low on oxygen to sustain normal life, Gowanus is a unique microbiome repository. So far, besides microbes typically found in human waste like E. coli or fake halobacterium, scientists identified some bacteria with special talents. But we also found um, extremophiles, which I find very interesting because they live in these weird environments. So for example, there are bacteria that um, metabolize sulfur, which is not normally something that you find if you just say swab a bench top somewhere. Uh, also, um, uh, a life form that is actually separate from bacteria called archaea, which are an even older branch of the tree of life that are down there in this aquatic environment. Um, also, some bacteria that seem to be producing methane, which means that they're probably metabolizing um, carbon compounds, which would be, say, oil pollution or something like that. So I, I think that the issues that we're seeing on the Gowanus, development pressure, climate change, and pollution are happening across the East Coast for sure, and really across the world. Other highly polluted waters around the world may also harbor unique organisms. Inside these clusters of super pollution, there may be bacteria that break down carcinogens or produce antibiotic compounds. Any wisdom learned from the Gowanus microbiome may help study theirs. Uh, when you do this microbiome, you take the samples and you extract DNA from them, but it's like a soup. It's DNA from every organism that was there, and there might be hundreds of different bacterial species. So about 50% of what we found, we can't identify, which is really interesting. W one of the reasons we wanted to do this study was because eventually they're going to clean up this canal uh, it's scheduled to have the bottom completely cemented over. But right now, we were interested in, you know, what it is now, and, and, and is there anything interesting in there before they go in and, and destroy that polluted environment in, in favor of a good one.